I really hope you can't see the lovely zit in the center of my forehead. But I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog. Welcome you back to another video. Today we are doing something really exciting. We're going to shop for wedding bands today just to browse. We have never looked at wedding bands before, so we're kind of just going to get a good idea of some options. I have looked online. I have looked on Pinterest. I have kind of an idea of what... I like I just don't know how it's gonna look on my hand once I get it on my hand am I actually going to like it am I going to like it paired with my engagement ring so we're doing that today and it is officially six months out from the wedding today I guess I'll just go ahead and share our wedding date over here I've shared it on Instagram because I posted when we were a year out so kind of just doesn't make sense to not share but we are getting married on March 21st of 2025, obviously, and today is September 21st. So we're doing some wedding band shopping today. I'm wearing the same white dress that I wore wedding dress shopping from Aritzia. I can share my outfit in the full length mirror, but I wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog. I'm going to try and take some clips today. I'm a little excited to kind of see certain options, but I'm not sure if... The two stores that we're going to today, we're just going to popular, I guess, stores or locations in Orlando over by the Millennium Mall. I don't really know what to expect, but I'm really excited to go and try some wedding bands on. So let me share my outfit in the mirror and then we'll head out the door. Here's the dress that I'm wearing. It's from Aritzia. I have it in black and white. And then this bag is from Amazon. Shoes are Tiki's. They both match. They're this pretty maroon color perfect for fall and i love this dress i feel like you could dress it up or dress it down i wore it with kitten heels on the day that i tried on wedding dresses and today i'm just wearing it with sandals you could totally wear it with sneakers dress it really down so this is the fit It is the next day. I just got Starbucks. I'm trying the Grande Pecan Oat Milk Latte. I got half the amount of pecan syrup pumps, so I'm gonna try it, but I am going back. Oh my gosh, all I keep staring at in the viewfinder is the sit in the middle of my forehead. I can literally see it from here. I am going back to look at wedding bands today because I am very much torn and this has been, usually I know what I like and yesterday I went in thinking that I would like something specific and it was kind of altered and I don't know if it was altered based on the opinion that Christian gave saying that, oh, he was like really liking one and I was like, oh, you're right, like I really like this but I never thought I would pick it and I did really like it but I want to go by myself and just be with my thoughts and I want to feel confident in the decision that I'm making because I am a very um, sentimental person and I want to love my wedding band just as much as I love my engagement ring and I just want to be sure and I think I just need to go with what I originally thought because I know I'm gonna love that time and time again I don't know I just want to go and look at them try them on again with my engagement ring and just be sure but Starbucks came out with a new drink the pecan oat milk latte so we're gonna give it a try and see how it is and then I got some egg white bites as well it definitely is like a fall winter drink it just gives off that taste and flavor very good definitely worth a try super creamy with the oat milk too so love that and I think they just 
reopened because they have a sticker on here that says welcome fall welcome all it is the first day of fall happy fall crazy it was such a great summer and i'm so excited for it being officially fall but yeah i'm going to run out by the mall again and go to some of the stores i actually don't know if i'll go to both of the ones that we went to yesterday i think i'm just gonna go to one of them i'm just really torn and i haven't been throughout this whole process even with wedding dress shopping and i'm so grateful that i have had this process but with wedding dress shopping i just like saw a photo of the dress and i was like i have to try that on like i i love that dress it ended up being the dress that i chose so I'm just like so sure and like same with like the wedding colors and the wedding florals and just like the venue I was so sure of and Christian just was reminding me today that it's supposed to be a fun process it's not supposed to be stressful picking out a freaking wedding band and I'm not trying to make it stressful it's just I don't know I'm having a hard time so we're gonna go back and see It's so much later in the day. I just picked up a Target pickup order. I could not be bothered with going to the grocery store. The last time I spoke to you, I was heading to go look at wedding bands again and retry on wedding bands. And I feel like when I was there, I was kind of sure, but then when I left, I was torn again. So I just don't really know what I'm gonna end up going with. I am just so stuck. Are you laughing at me? I'm just so torn and I don't want to regret my decision so maybe you guys are laughing at me because this is like a silly thing to be torn over but truly I'm so torn because at the end of the day it's something that you're gonna wear every day and I just want to be so in love with it and so obsessed with it but picked up target pickup order we're doing chicken salad for lunches this week what I'm so excited about is Poppy came out with new flavor cherry cola so I'm really excited target had it and my friend Taylor got it yesterday and tried it and she said it's amazing and Publix even had it which usually Publix is behind targets like the first one to kind of get it so I'm gonna pour it over ice and give it a try because it is warm but I'm really excited about this because she said it was really good the poppy cola isn't my favorite I love the doc pop and I'm not usually like a dr. pepper girl I'm like a regular coke girl so good so I'm definitely interested to try this because the coca-cola flavor isn't my favorite it's still good but it's not my favorite so we're gonna try that. I'm just unload my groceries. I'll fill a cup of ice and then we'll give it a try. So I gave up, I'm giving up soda up until the wedding and I'm also giving up like fun alcoholic beverages. I'm gonna keep it simple. I feel as though this is like an easy way to be healthier up until the wedding without like cutting out too much. I know that just sugar and soda is so bad for skin and it's a good way for skin health and everything like that so giving up soda and i don't share a lot that i love soda but i truly do i grew up drinking soda maybe that's my issue my parents had soda in the house all the time so i still love it as an adult yes i don't know this is really good I'm in my main bathroom because I got some body products from Target that I wanted to share. Kind of go through some of my current products that I'm using in the shower and what I'm swapping them out with. So what I've been using since December, I believe, I got three of these and three lasted up until basically the whole month of September. I probably have like a couple more uses. Out of this, this is the Santal and Vetiver scent by Salt and Stone. I literally love this so much. It's just such a luxury body wash, but I'm wanting to switch it up. I've been using this for basically nine months, maybe even a little bit longer, and I'm just ready for something new. What I'm gonna be trying out, and this is just a little bit pricey too, but what I'm gonna be trying out is the Bioma Brightening Body Wash. This is a decent size too. 16.9 fluid ounces. 
this is 15. This will last so long. This lasts so long too because it foams up so well. It's brightening body wash treats dull and dehydrated skin. It's a prebiotic complex barrier boosting body care. So I'm really excited to try this and see how I like it. I do find that I have drier skin all over my body and I do moisturize every day. This, I swap out my moisturizers all the time, but this is the current lotion I'm using. It's the Hemp's Ocean Breeze Hyaluronic Acid one. I also love this OC Hyaluronic Acid Body Serum. It's just so pricey, so I only use it on my neck and chest after I do my red light or I just started doing green light therapy with my mask because my mask um, from Medjolin, it's the face and then I have the neck and chest one. This swaps through a bunch of different lights and I started using the green light recently to help with hyperpigmentation. Red light is good for like collagen boosting, things like that, wrinkles, fine lines, preventative. But when you start going into the different lights, like blue light is really good for acne. Green light is really good for hyperpigmentation. I think yellow light is good for redness or rosacea. But I know a lot of the lights do a lot of different things. So I started doing green light to help with hyperpigmentation. I do have this dark spot over here on my cheek and then I have one down here. And then there's just a lot of freckles, darker spots on my face, which I'm trying to kind of lighten up until the wedding. I've been using a lot of products that are medical grade. I switched to medical grade skincare at the beginning of this year and have noticed a huge improvement in my skin overall. Truly, will probably never go back to, or at least having some sort of medical grade product in my routine. But I also have been using Tretinoin since high school. I've been using Tretinoin and I think it's the main reason why I have such great skin. Um, and I almost feel like I don't need Botox or anything. Um, I will be getting Botox for my wedding and I, don't love how there's this, I don't want to say pressure because I don't necessarily feel pressure, but I do want my skin to look great in photographs. So I think I'm going to try out Botox in November for the first time because my wedding is in March. So I'm going to try it out in November. So that way I have it still good maybe for my bachelorette in January. And then right before the wedding, touch it up, see what I need, see if I even want it for my wedding. Um, but I think trying it out in November will give me a good timeline to have it wear off and have me touch it up right before the wedding. So I'm trying Botox for the first time. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't love needles, but I'll keep you posted on that. I'm definitely going to give it a try in November if I can get past being scared <laughs> to like, pass out um getting blood getting blood drawn is so easy it's not like terrible i obviously don't like it it's easy because it's like done in a couple of seconds with botox you have to sit there and just get poked over and over and over again in different parts of your face so i'm just like worried for that process because it takes a little bit longer than just getting and like a one time and blood taken out and you're done in 30 seconds so if you have any tips for Botox, um, I don't know if there's like a gel cream that can be put on your forehead for numbing. It's not so much the pain, it's I get in my head about it. And I've had this issue since I was young about working myself up over something to the point like I pass out. I have a long childhood history of passing out, like a lot, just because I would like work myself up over something. So I want to, I try my best to avoid it in my adult life and I can usually pick up on when I feel like I'm going to pass out and how to like talk myself through it. But I know something like this is just a little bit, it makes me a little uneasy. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, love the OC products and obviously their body oil. This is like my favorite stuff ever. It is so moisturizing. But this, um, I've been putting on my neck and chest after my light because if I use this all over my body, I went through so much of it so quick because I was using it all over my body. I'm like, maybe I should kind of focus it on certain areas 
of my body instead of using it all over and that's why I picked up this hyaluronic acid body lotion but um this is not my favorite I don't really notice a difference with this so love that um I also picked up this bioma smoothing body serum so I'm gonna use this all over my body it's way more affordable than this but this is something that I love so much and I just tried it for the first time when I got this bottle it's my favorite but I wanted to try an all-over body serum and this treats rough and bumpy skin I don't necessarily feel like I have bumpy skin but I have dry skin so it has barrier lipids to help so i'm hoping that this is just super just hydrating moisturizing for my skin so these are the two products that i'm trying from bioma i haven't tried their products before that you can get them at the drugstore though which is nice they also have a road glazing milk dupe i've heard so i'm interested in knowing how that goes um i also picked up this nivea skin firming body lotion to try once this runs out so we're trying that out so these are the products that i'm trying out all from target mm -hmm. 